Oh, good morning, everybody. your first time popping on um holly toledo i'm trying to catch my breath my breath i usually don't do intros on my um daily living vlogs because i usually do them on my other programs so i'm trying to get used to it but my name is emma welcome if it's your first time being here i just got up about a little bit ago and I usually do my morning vlogs because I have to get up, make coffee, wash dishes if there is any, um, and the sink. And then I usually do uh, more filming during the day and, um, you know, just to get the day started. Um, yeah, so. Ooh, I'm going to try not to make my coffee too strong this time. They have been making the coffee way too strong. I have to go shopping today. Let me get my coffee. Happy Vlogmas number one. Um, is it 15? Day 15, I think. This day was 14. I think it's 15. But I'll, I'll make sure, but I'm pretty sure it's 15. Ooh, bubble, yay! So while I'm waiting for that, I'm just gonna wash these few dishes. Uh, cookies uh, we, that's why I haven't been on my other program because I'm busy um, I'm just putting a hole on everything until I revise everything that I uh, want to do I, I go through different programs I have one with tea why is this one barking one with tea um, Cersei here. I don't know why he's barking. I know he has to go out. It's my puppy. It's my dog. Let me go find it. I don't know why he's barking. Let me see. He's bothering. down over there. I usually take him out. He eats, he still has an eaten. Do you have to go out? What do you want? He's just being. What do you want? You have to go pee pee? I have a German Shepherd. Let me just take him out real quick. Come on, let's go. I'm being a pain this morning. Come on, let's go, come on. Yeah, so the weather out here has been kind of wonky. It's been, you know, in the 40s, it's been in the 50s. It's like, half the time I'm not sure what this weather wants to do. And you know, my, my um, grandchildren have been getting sick a lot because of that, that change of weather. Like I have my oldest grandson, he's not feeling well. And he's not going to be going to school because all they're going to do is just send him back. They have a cold or a cough, or if they're throwing up, they'll send you home. And I've been doing him silent on, just, you know, taking his temperature. He doesn't 
had a fever. I mean, he's warm, but it's had an, uh, a blown out fever. So thank God for that. Okay, I think that's it. I really didn't have much this morning. This, I can wash this. I don't like leaving dishes out at night. I, I, you know, you end up with, you know, you're asking for trouble when you do that. So I want, when I do um, anything in the kitchen, I wash and go. Uh, you know, I wash as I go. That's what I meant to say. I wash as I go. Don't leave nothing out. I'm already been seeing little critters crawling. I'm like, oh God, no. no. So I'm gonna have to buy some kind of, what is that called, that spray? I forgot what it's called. But I gotta pull out, I'm gonna have to pull out the stove to find out what's going on. I'm pretty sure, cause there's this like gap and I know all the food falls in there, so I have to clean that. I do have to clean my oven. Get it ready for um, really, I mean, it's getting ready for New Year's. But, uh, other than that, you know, I just gotta make sure keep it clean, I guess, right? So I can do it. Keep it clean. And spray down stuff. That prevents anything, you know, from growing or trying to get in. So we did have uh, some mice, but uh, we used decon. Decon, what is that? Mice kill. It worked. It really worked. And only because it's a good, it's um, what it does, it has that, I don't know what it is, like it's in there. But you know how I think some animals are carnivores and what happens is that one, once one is infected and then they eat them, then the other mice, when it's dead, they eat them and then they die. So it's like continuous um, killing process. Everybody has cats around here, so I don't have a cat, I just have a, a dog, a German Shepherd. But the people upstairs have cats, the people downstairs have a cat's cat. I I love animals, I do, but cats, oh my god, I love kittens, I do, I think they're so cute, they're adorable, I just can't stand cats, because they're a pain in the butt. <laughs> What's the difference? They're big and they think they own everything. <laughs> and then they don't want to be hugged, they don't want to be cuddled. I'm like, oh, it's just, oh no. Because I love kittens, I can't stand cats. <laughs> and that makes sense. Okay. So, let me come over here. Yes, yeah, so usually what I do is that I, um, because I have a few minutes, um, I don't have a lot of footage. I don't. I don't like filming. You know, I, I, if I want to film, I want to film something that's going to be worthwhile. I mean, you can only see people cleaning the same stuff over and over again. You can only see people wash their clothes over and over and over again. I mean, if you're just sitting there watching people clean the house, and I get it. You know, they try. It doesn't motivate you. I mean, not really, because if it did, you'd have a clean house. I mean, just, I mean, sometimes you like the person who you're watching, you know, you just want to hear them talk, what's their ideas, and I like that. But but when you, they're doing the same a mundane thing, it's like, well, what are you doing to progress in your life? I mean, are you really, are they really motivating you? I mean, for some people, I guess they do, you know, they do motivate them and um to get going but most of the part you're all you're doing is sitting and being a couch potato like seriously i don't have time for that <laughs> that's a come oh my bought these new slippers and they're like kind of a little big and they just slipped off my foot anyway um like washing dishes or i'm not gonna you know i mean 
mean, maybe I used to back in the day when the kids were little. Yeah, sure. You know, um, I used to let things go. But gee, I had five kids I was taking care of. That wasn't easy. You know, you get tired. Give me a second. Let me let this piece parking at the car. dishwasher so I have to do everything by hand um, I do a lot of baking I could do some cooking but I try not to show you all the things you know like um, I, I just I don't have time to waste time bottom line so I try to get things done as, as fast as possible you know, and like I said back in the day, yeah, the day I used to let things slip because I had five kids and I'd wake up like exhausted, you know. But my mom, my mom was always a cleaner. She, huh, she used to clean like there was no tomorrow. I mean, she, uh, when she used to do laundry, she used to wash um, dish towels. The bed towels is fine, but she used to make us, remember ironing? Who irons this day, these days? I have not seen anybody who had a flat board like, I don't know, like for the longest time. I don't think nobody irons anymore. But my mom back in the day, she used to make us iron. Cause these were the kind of towels we had back in the day, kind of like this, clothy. She used to make us iron these. Thought my mom was nuts. <laughs> but anyway, and so yeah, you know, I used to let things slip, sure. But um, as the kids were getting older, I try to keep everything up, you know, keep up to speed, and try to keep everything clean and stuff. And, and you, I realized down the road, the the more you try to keep up with everything, the more simple. The more time you have on your hands so yeah and like i said i like watching cleaning videos sure you know i always i always like to see people's new new methods but i just don't want to see it all the time you know what i mean okay so enough of that <laughs> okay so today is vlogmas and uh uh day 15 and i've been using prayer cards as an advent calendar this year i didn't buy i never thought of buying advent calendars for myself although, uh, although they have been coming out with a lot of them with cheese toys uh oils um of course candy but i never thought of buying one for myself so i do it for the kids but they, i just get the ones that are like $1.99 you know they're just little chocolates and stuff like that in shape of in little different shapes but I decided, I because I have seen these all year round, people using them, you know, praying them out loud and sharing. So I said, you know what, I'll do that instead because I have a whole bunch of these that I've had been collecting because they're from Dollar Tree. So what I do instead of giving myself a blessing or, you know, an advent calendar for myself, I'd rather give you or rather find something for myself, I'd rather give you something and I'd rather give you um, a gift of blessings for the next 10 days, 11, 12, 11, 11 days I think, 7, 8, 9, 10, maybe the next 10 days I think, 10 more days before Christmas, don't mind that, I think it's 10 or 11, I'll find out, and for sure I'll find out, and uh oh, I just grabbed the card I shouldn't have, hold on, didn't. Uh -oh. I don't know. No, I had one. Oh, 
okay so it is this one i think i think i hope i didn't read this one yet but okay um so i'm giving you a, ble a gift of blessings for the next 11 i'll just say 11 days because i'm not really sure now okay so i'm just gonna read it it says trust in the lord with all your heart and not lean on your own understanding yes let's do that let's trust the lord with all our hearts and do not lean on our own understanding because sometimes when it comes right down to it we think we know it all and because we think we know it all we kind of like misjudge or miss think or misdo and we end up getting ourselves in predicaments or in trouble or whatever but sometimes you know if we're diligently listening to something higher than us then we could have or gain wisdom do things differently that will on our behalf will be an outcome of success so yeah let's not always be well you know to our own understanding always look for a higher a higher way to think you know that, that his ways are are higher than our ways you know that kind of thing which it which it is um i think that's a nice day uh, i'll find it but anyway blessing of the day for you guys so i'm going to put this back here and then i think i have i think i only have like nine of these left. i was supposed to have 20 i noticed i, I only have 19. but and then the kids like later on like always say they'll open their admin calendars when they get out of school that's what i usually film and uh yeah and i do do the elf on the shelf by the way <laughs> you can see that on my shorts <laughs> so okay so that's gonna be doing it today guys um top of the morning to you and um well you'll be seeing me wear this for the rest of the year <laughs> <No>. <laughs> the next 10 days <laughs> Yes, I do. I do enjoy my first sip of coffee in the morning. <laughs> okay, guys. So that's going to be doing it for today. And we will see you in a bit. I am, like I said, I am doing cookies. You'll see that. Or you'll see my, my German Shepherd pop in. Because I did mention him. You probably did hear him. But every once in a while, you'll see him roam. Um... I am making cookies, holiday cookies, and um, I already had my snowflakes, trees, gingerbread, mint cookies, and today I'm going to be doing um, reindeers. And then I'm going to take a break from that, and then I'm going to make chocolate chip cookies because I'm begging these up to take um, these cookies to the ladies at the, at the school. Okay, guys, that's it, and we will see you in a bit. Yeah, so we're looking for number 14. I see what the shape um, is. It is a bell. Oh, a nice bell. Cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks very really shiny. It picture. does. It looks <laughs> nice in there. <laughs> okay. You want to see, you want to see where the elf is at? <laughs> yeah, he's somewhere in the kitchen. And these are the Christmas cookies I made. How did the light come out? I don't even know how that happened. Might have. I think when it gets too dark. Those are some big booty on Yeah, there. he stole Santa's boots. No, there's a Mrs. Claus's boots. <laughs> Mrs. Claus's. Santa's not gonna. Santa's not gonna be wearing boots with heels in the back. Oh, he might. <laughs> Uh, no, and here is the elf, and he's, he, how said that, he stole Santa's boots, or? He stole Mrs. Claus's boots. <laughs> he stole Mrs. C Mrs. Claus's boots. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see the gingerbread man was able to run away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he looks cute on there, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he got some big boots. <laughs> So we'll say he he stole he stole 
Mrs. Claus's boots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. So, um, yeah. So I'm gonna wait. Um. Yeah, I noticed that the does the light go off by itself? I don't know, cause the light went on when I was over here in the dark. It went on by itself. I didn't even turn it on, but. When I was over in the living room, it went off. So I don't know if this camera, you know, put if it's in the dark, it puts on the light by itself. And if it does do that, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so I hope you like my... I couldn't... I don't know if I was putting on the candy canes backwards or not. So I did want to put, like, something on here. But these would have been a little bit more trickier to decorate. So I just put sprinkles on there. Nice Christmas, um, nice Christmas colors. And I have to pack up, let's see, one, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I have to switch these over there, and these are the ones that are going in the bag. Okay, guys, we'll see you in a bit. Hello again. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't been posting what I've been eating in the morning because I've been, you know, busy, you know, taking the kids to school and stuff like that. But the other day, I think I went and, um, oh man, I don't know, I just came home hungry. So I just ate out. Well, I didn't eat out. You know, I just went to go get something. Bought it here and ate. But um, this time, I'm just... Um, had a taste for eggs. Do you, do you ever always go through that? Like one day you have a taste for something and another day you don't want anything else and you don't really want to cook. And I mean, you, you go through your things, right? But this morning I was like, I want to eat something that has spice to it. So I ended up making what we call, they're called chilaquiles. And it's a Spanish version of just eggs with tortilla. That's all. That's all it is. And what I did this time is because I really sometimes when I do the tortillas, they come out like really hard. And I'm like, what can I do to soften them up? <gasps> you know what? I should have put some mozzarella cheese on top of this. That would have tasted like really really awesome i'm gonna try that next time but um so what i did is that i put wa not water milk to soften uh the the well i heat up the tortillas first and then i put them in the oil but i see you know i'm gonna add milk because i really want the tortilla to be soft and then i added of course the egg and you know everything else and then i added the pepper and I said, well, well, what else can I do to give it flavor? And I was like, you know what? Onions. So after I was done, I saute some onions and I have onions. It might, might not look it. It's in there. I have onions. I don't like, I don't like making food and showing it when there's no color to it. Like there's no color in there. Like it's just bland. But either the cheese would have helped a lot. But because it's bland, it's like there's nothing really to show. And if I were to put cheese in here, I would have to put it in the like the oven so that the cheese could have some brown to it. But I was like, I don't want to go through all of that right now. You know, especially when you're hungry, you just want to hurry up and eat. Like sometimes you just want oatmeal in the morning, you know, or cereal in the morning. But I wanted something flavorful, some there we are <laughs> there we go so mm. it is nice and spicy <laughs> and that's what i was looking for the tortillas are soft um i have the egg i should have put a third egg in there but i wanted more tortillas than egg so I did a ratio of um, three tortillas and two eggs. Can you keep me? And 
until lunch. Bam. <laughs> Guys are gonna get you're gonna have to get used to that because that's what he does. <laughs> these two dogs out there and they have like Christmas sweaters on. <laughs> He's like, where's mine? Where's my Christmas sweater? <laughs> anyway, so I'm just watching a little bit of <clears throat> this movie called The Red House 19, and it was in 1947. Kind of seems like one of those like um, drama. Um, not like drama, but like, I forgot what they're called. Like something happened to this kid and um, Delmar Davis, he he was he used to play gangster um um characters in his film, like um, and like I don't know like killing people and stuff like this. But he seems to be a good guy in this in this film. If you if you're you know in nineteen forties nineteen fifty movies you you you'll recognize him, but um he seems to be a good guy. He's trying to help this young man. This young man doesn't want to listen. It was the boyfriend or wanted to be a boyfriend of his daughter who was like adopted, but he's trying to save him. This kid's not listening. So we're going to find out what, I got a feeling they're going to blame him for whatever happened to this kid. And I don't think it was his fault. I think he was trying to prevent him from getting hurt, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, guys, so I'm going to finish this. I'm going to try to finish this movie, but mm, an increment because I, I still have my um, Christmas trees that I have to decorate and um, yeah I'm, I'm hoping I'll have enough cookies the sweaters I'm not I'm not giving the sweaters away because the sweaters are for the my are my grandkids so they're gonna decorate them and you know that will be for the house I am not giving the sweaters away um, so that will be for, um, Christmas or whenever they want to decorate it. I'm, I figure it, I don't know. It's kind of iffy because they're going to be like off for two weeks and they're going to start off on, on Sunday, which is the 24th. It's like, maybe I'll have them do it on a Friday and whatever is in the house is in the house. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to have them have that fun and, I'm going to get all the sprinkles and everything out and let, just let them go at it. <laughs> okay, guys, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to melt this, but for some reason, it's like not doing anything. And I'm going to put it in more, I don't know. I'm going to try to put it more in hot water. Decorated cookies, but for some reason, I'm gonna, it doesn't really want to flow. So I'm gonna see. I mean, not that I really need it because um, I um, already de decorated the snowflakes, but I'm like, I still want to use a little bit that's left. To decorate the um the stars so that's what i'm hoping that's what i'm hoping i can do with it but uh we'll see because i don't know i don't know why it's um not i figured if i put it in hot water you know it would get it would be soft by now but it's not it's not doing anything So, 
what I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave it, you know, like this, you know, flat like that and just let it run, let it run down and we'll see what happens. Oh, I think I have more dishes now than I did earlier this morning. <laughs> But you won't see this until tomorrow. Um, yeah. So. Ugh. Those eggs were good. I had them with, uh, what was that called? With onions and uh, pepper flakes. It was nice and tasty. No color to it. But it did taste good. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish these. And then I'm going to get on the, um, the Christmas trees, but I have to make the, the green color. So that's what I'm going to work on right now. I'm still in my pajamas, as you can see. <laughs> I didn't have to take the kids to school this morning because, uh, for one, my, my daughter took my grandson to her place last night. And then the other two, I usually don't walk my granddaughter because she's already 11 years old. She can walk by herself. And I asked her if she wanted me to walk her, you know, walk her halfway. She goes, Mom, okay. And it's, believe me, the school is not far at all. It's only like, you know, I'd say about three blocks away. It's not far. No time. The only time I go, I always sometimes, you know, I'll like walk her halfway and she goes the rest of the way, you know, but the only time I go really full and take him up is because I have my grandson and him, you know, I'm like, I'm like no, I have to, I, I have to walk him literally to school because he's, he's only um, eight years old, so I have to take him. My, my, my older grandson, he goes on his own. He was, yeah, he was great, but he said he'll give him a go. And then he was talking about, oh, I still have to stay until 6.15. I go, no, no. If you don't feel good, tell him no, that you can't stay and you've got to come home. Don't make yourself stay if you're not feeling good. It doesn't make any sense. So I told him if you're not feeling good, come home. I don't want him to be there, you know. And then when he has to come home, he's, you know, he's not going to be able to to stay. He's not going to be feeling good. So I said, no. Just tell him you'll, you'll stay um, next week. You'll stay next week. So. Um, and because he usually stays, because he, he has like a drama class. And he usually stays like for drama on Mondays, Mondays, um, Thursdays, and Fridays. I go, we don't feel up to it. Just tell him no and that you'll come, um, you'll either stay tomorrow or but not today. But I just told him, you don't feel good, just come home. Ah. So hopefully that works. And you know, cause I don't really, I really don't like him coming home at night either.
Okay, so that's all I'm doing for right now. And I need to fry some chicken in a little bit. Go ahead and fry chicken. And I think that's it. I'm going to get going. I'm decorating the, uh, the cookies. So I need to get the cookies down. And yeah. Okay, so those are done. You, I'll let you guys know and uh, of course I'll show you the cookies how they look like when they're done and we will see you guys in a bit